my children were removed from my home due to cannabis being present and paraphernalia being present in my personal bedroom where um, I had it to treat multiple sclerosis. Um, they were removed for 17 days and it was the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. My name is Lindsay Reinhardt and I'm the founder of Undergreen Railroad. Undergreen Railroad was founded after a clear need for help relocating patients and non-patients and the clear need to move for cannabis came when the disease I had kept in remission for so long using cannabis started to attack my body and I was too fearful to use cannabis and so the only option was to leave and it was a really rough move so the need to have help and can of family is what we call it it's your cannabis family um, helping along the way became very very clear and so and there's a lot of people that I want to move. Um, so we, we formed an organization, me and my friends, to help move people from the non-medical states to the medical states. So far we have helped um, several families. Um, we've had a child that had to move because she had brain cancer. Um, we have a family right now where the entire family has Lyme disease and the little one suffers from um, seizures every day from the Lyme disease and mom has fibro as well. Um, we have others that have moved for PTSD. Um, we just we've, there's this need <laughs> for these families to to get out. When you've got a child, um, we've got one family where the little girl has seizures and she has a device that, that the mom has to slide. There's a plant and it's cannabis, and all they need to do is is go to a place where it's safe to use it. The ultimate risk that you look at is who are you technically and endangering and it's not really you per se but the state's laws that you reside in and so we we don't encourage families with children to dose that child in a non-medical state um, because it could be dangerous if CPS were to get involved and remove a child um, that's something that we would never want to see and so if you get a, a child to a state where you know they can get a, a legal medical recommendation um, that affords protection, you know, or if you've got somebody that's treating an illness, like a, a mother um, that could be treating an illness and that could put the entire family in danger um, just because it, the plant not being legal and prohibition. And so ultimately you, it's just a matter of prohibition and we have to get the people, we have to end prohibition, but um, until we do, we have to help people get to safety. You can contact us at undergreenrailroad.org, you can contact us on Facebook. Even if we can't help you, we might be able to offer at least moral support or send you to other people that can help you. We do have a waiting list. Um, but wherever we can help, we will. Um, there's there's people out there that will help. My, help in, my, my faith in humanity has been 100% restored through this horrible experience and that there are people out there that will help you. There are people there that care. There are people that care if you have medicine. There are people that care if your child is having seizures. There are people that care about you. And all you have to do is ask for help. And those of you that want to help, help. It's not that hard. Find someone that needs help and help the person around you. It's how we can make the world a better place.